So today I'm going to show you how to record your screen on Ubuntu. Uh, there's this great free software called OBS or Open Broadcaster software that works really, really well, especially in Ubuntu. But uh, what's really nice about it is it also works in exactly the same in Mac OS X and in Windows, like it has the exact same interface and everything. So uh, the fact that it's cross pl platform like that is great because no matter which one you want to use, it's the same interface and it, uh, it's always free and it's super simple to install and use. So the only kind of issue with it is that it's really only officially supported in Ubuntu, but luckily it works really well for it and it's free. So um, that's what we're going to work with today. So first I'll show you how to install it and then I'll show you how to use it. So I'm going to put a link to this uh, web page in the description, but basically we're just going to be following these install instructions. So the first thing you need to know is what version of Ubuntu you have. Because if you have anything above 14.04 and you try to run these two commands, then when you get to these steps, it'll actually fail and won't install correctly. So you need to know uh, exactly which version you have. So to find out what version of Ubuntu you have, you just can click in the upper right hand corner up here and then choose about this computer. So I'm running Ubuntu 16.04, so I need to only run these two commands. If you're anything below, uh, or if you're 14.04 or below, you need to make sure that you're running these two commands before you run these two. So I'm just going to run these two, but if you're on 14.04, you can watch and you just run these two in the same way that I run these ones. So the first thing you need to do is open the Linux command line. So it's just uh, you just search for terminal by going to the top left here and just type in terminal, and then this option that pops up, just click on it. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with the terminal, so I'm just going to try and walk you through as simply as possible. Uh, basically, all we have to do is copy and paste these commands. There isn't really too much they have to know about this. I'll try and explain it while I'm doing it, but I won't get too in-depth. So uh, if you just highlight the first one, and if you are on 14.04, make sure you're doing this one first. Uh, then once you have it highlighted, just right click and choose the copy option, and then open up the terminal again, right click and hit paste. Then when it's in there, just hit enter, and then it'll just ask for your password. That's because you put sudo before the command, which just tells it to run it as, as, as an administrator, so it needs a password to do that. So I type in the password, and you'll see nothing pops up, which is normal. It doesn't show the password when you're typing it. So once you've typed it in, just hit enter again. And then it'll just ask you to confirm if you want to add the, basically what you're adding is where to download the software from to the Ubuntu uh, software repositories. So you just have to hit enter here, and it will be added. So now it knows that any time it runs updates, it should also update uh, the Open Broadcaster software. So the next thing to do is actually install the Open Broadcaster software. So that's what this command does. So just highlight it again, right click, copy, go back to the terminal and paste it. Now I already have it uh, installed. So you, what it says for me might be a little bit different than what it says for you. But if you hit enter, it doesn't ask for your password again because you already typed it in. And it's just going to go through, update everything. For me, it went really quickly. For you, because it's going to download the software, it'll probably take a little bit longer. So once you get to uh, the green, like, or to the, uh, back to the terminal, like, command prompt again, then you know it's finished. So that means that the OBS software is installed. And now you can go to the uh, Ubuntu option in the top left. And if you search OBS, now it'll pop up as an option right here. So just click on that. And now we can actually set up the screen recording. So these settings are pretty simple, but uh, the very first thing you need to do is go to settings here in the bottom right. And here you need to go to the video option and set your resolution. So this is basically the most important setting for the Open Broadcaster software. You need to make sure that this is set to what your computer's resolution is, as well as what you want the output resolution to be. Normally you're going to want both of those to be the same thing. And uh, so like basically if you have a 1080p monitor, then you want to put both of these to 1920 by uh, 1080. If you have a 17, uh, 720 monitor, then you'd want to put it to 1280 by 720p, which would be this option. So mine is a 1080p monitor, so I'm going to put these both as 1920 by 1080. And it basically just makes your output file look as good as possible. The other option you have to choose here is the output option. 
So these will uh, these default settings will normally work fine, but the big one is that you might want to change this recording format to something else. So uh, like I currently have it as FLV, but a lot of people prefer MP4s or MKVs. So uh, like if I just select MP4 there, then it will make the final output file a .MP4 file. So once you have that selected, um, the other one that you might want to play with is this video bitrate. Basically, the higher this number is, the higher quality of the file will be, but also the larger the file size. So if you're doing it in 1080p, it's recommended to be like closer to like 10,000, like something like 9,000 or so. If you're in 720p, the original like 2,500 would be okay. So if your quality isn't looking too great, just try bumping this number up a little bit. So after that, you can just hit apply and okay. And now we need to actually set up the recording. So we just go to the sources right here and then right click and go to add and then I just need to add a screen capture. Um, then you can just leave these alone and just hit OK and you'll see my screen instantly popped up. If you have multiple monitors then they would all show up in this list right here but most of you are only going to have one so by default it'll be selected. And then as long as if you want to capture the cursor so that the mouse shows in the recording then just leave that checked. Then just hit OK and you'll see it's automatically recording right here, uh, but like it hasn't started recording to a file. Uh, it'll do that when we hit the start recording button here. The other thing we need to set up is your audio options. So by default, you might see that these are bars are already going, like that it noticed your mic or noticed some system audio. Uh, by, for mine, it doesn't recognize it by default, so I have to set it up separately. So to add my audio, I just need to right click in the sources and then go to add, and then I need to go to audio input capture. Um, so this uh, pulse audio option here. If I just hit OK and then hit OK again, now you'll see it's actually recording my microphone. So that's a good thing, like because I want to record audio with this, then I need to make sure that I'm recording something at least. So now I have my video being recorded and then I also have my audio being recorded. And that's really all I need for my Ubuntu screen recording. So now to actually record the screen, we just hit the start recording option right here and then we do whatever we wanted to record and then as soon as we're finished we just hit the stop recording option and now we can actually view the output file so this is the file that you would like up to load to YouTube or something like that if you wanted to record your screen so to find that file you just go to file up here and then show recordings and that will take you to the folder where that video is stored and then the first output that I have is right here like this is what I just recorded and you'll notice if I double click on it then it'll play and you can see it's uh it's exactly what I was just showing you so we know that it recorded just fine and uh, and that's really everything that you need to know like that's how to do a simple video recording there's a lot more features you can do with this but for the average person that's pretty much exactly what you'll need